In this short tutorial, I thought I'd show you how to neaten up your, in your shader editor, your nodes and groups. In other words, how to create frames and how to create groups. So for example, this is actually from my son's course series, which is free on YouTube. Uh, you could essentially select everything that you want to frame and just press Shift P. And as soon as you've done that, you can also give it a label and call this random group in this case. I'm not going to save this. And you can also rename it, yeah, for the system as what well. A uh, good naming convention is to make sure that uh, the names are the, are the same here and there. It's a random group. And just like that, we've grouped this. And what does that do? It lets us know what all these things do together, which is quite nice. And we can move this around by its group if we like, uh, which is pretty awesome. And if we select one of these, it will always stay within that group unless we remove the group. If you select a group and you press Alt-P, I mean, press X, it will delete. Now, how would you... So that's how you create a frame. Now, how do you create a group? You'd select everything and you'd press Control-G. And currently... This is, the, every, this is everything that will be in the group. And you just press tab, and the group is yeah. And if you want to rename things yeah, uh, it's quite easy. All you need to do is, number one, we could rename this over here and call this supergroup. And we could also change this to, to something more useful. So you just press tab to go back into the group mode. And you might say, let's, let's fix this and you would have to click on nodes and you can just double click on this to rename it and you can type in whatever you like and you could add more or less so now when you press tab those names are yeah so that's how you create frames and groups in blender 2.9 please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you get a chance check out my fire series on youtube it's a little bit long but it's loads of fun i've only got one more video to make for this fire series to be complete and then I'll make the trailer.